this is Penny from Milton Anglican. In this together has become something of the slogan for our responses to the COVID-19 crisis. But long before COVID was ever thought of, it, became, it was chosen as the theme for National Reconciliation Week, which begins today, May 27th, as we recall the 1967 referendum. So I would like to begin by acknowledging the land on which I stand today and giving thanks for its traditional custodians, the Turrbal and the Yagara peoples, their elders and children, past, present and emerging. This week is a time to consider our story, where we come from, the debt that we owe to those who have cared for this land over countless generations, and to seek to act to address the injustices that still divide Indigenous from non-Indigenous Australians. And so some things that you can do is today join in the national event, the National Acknowledgement of Country at 12 noon today, to read the Statement from the Heart, the Uluru Statement from the Heart, and to think about your own story and how it relates to this story of Indigenous and non-Indigenous working together in this together. I'm going to pray and I'm going to use the words written by Glenn Lockery, an Aboriginal priest from Melbourne, uh, as part of the resources for this week. Creator God, you know our secrets and walk in our hearts. Remove the rubbish and the unseen by the wisdom of your dreaming, so we can live on country in kinship with you and make you known to all. Through Christ our Elder. Amen. <laughs> 